Hello. Um, taboo today. I'm waiting for people to join. So I'd like people to try some of the collocations as well today. Uh, you know, you can get them from the internet or you can actually just make them up or find them from a book. I'm going to show you some from a screen I've got here and then I'm going to give you an example. So um, let me expand my screen for you here. Here's a big list of uh, phrases and collocations, and some of them can be chosen. There's some idiomatic ones like break the ice, um, brick wall, bumper crop. Um, some of them are just noun phrases, actually. Butcher's shop, um, by and large. That's an interesting one, by and large. Does anybody know what? that means if you hear those words well by and large hmm. something like usually or normally um, mostly doing something by the book we've got that as well here by all means that's another way of saying well of course you can by all means can I come to the party? Of course you can, by all means. Yeah, so we've got loads of them here. I'll tell you how I found them. I'm going to put them into my taboo page uh, more directly soon, but at the moment I find them by um, going through some data slides here and typing in a keyword, taboo collocations. And then they will come up. And then I'm going to have that into in the actual taboo page soon so that you can get one for level one, level two, level three. So I might do one of these um, for level three in a moment. Just looking down the list to see if I can choose a nice one. There's one. There's one. Level three, two word collocation. A two-word collocation for level three. Hi there. Hello, uh, Quinton. I didn't see you joining the room. Hi there. Didn't notice you come in. I was, I was away looking at another pay, a page on the browser. So, are you there on the mic? Hi. How are you? Hi there. Yeah. Um, oh, I just turn up a bit. I thought you were quiet. It's me, I think. Can you hear me clearer now? Yes, yes. I hear you. Yeah. Okay, good. Have you played this before? No. Well, it, it's a common speaking practice activity, and I think it's a very, very good one because it communicates. You know, some speaking activities don't really communicate because we know what we're saying, but this one, we definitely don't know what we, what the other person is saying. They, you have to communicate something from you to me. So I choose a word for level one, I have a word, and then I have to communicate that word to you. Okay. And so, I, for example, level one will be a very simple word, visible word, something very simple and easy, which you can see. Let me do one for an example, and you try to guess it for me, and then maybe you can do it back to me. So, uh, I, I will describe a visible noun. It's in my room right now. I use it to work. It's a piece of furniture. I write on it. Any idea?
So uh, can you ask a question then about it and try to find out what it is, what my word is? It's something, a piece of furniture. Welcome back. It's a piece of furniture and it's used in an office, for example. And it could collocate with help. There is a help one of these and a school one. Children at school sit at them. Do you know the word? Broken mm. hair? Uh, I see my answer. Break the eyes? No. One word. It's not one. Of, it's not on the screen. Sorry. Let me ch stop sharing my screen. Sorry. That was my um, level three word on the screen. The word I'm doing now is not on the screen. It's a simple word. One word. Four letters. Four. I can't count today. Look. <laughs> I said four letters. Four letters. It's a four-letter word. Um, four-letter word, and it's something that you work on. So if you write a letter or something like that, or you study, you need one. Help. It's, I see my answer. It's desk, desk. Yeah, desk. Yeah. So could you try one for me? Could you do the same to me? Try to find a word and explain it to me and I guess uh, something uh, uh, uh. anything just look around you know I, I look around my room and I choose maybe this do you know the name of this? Dice? What's this? It's got two names. It can be called a rubber, because it's made of rubber, a rubber, or an eraser, because it erases, or it rubs out. Um, and I've got, you know, something like this. Actually, I, I think this has a lot of different names. What do you call this? I sometimes call it a data stick, but I've called, I heard it called lots of things. And then I have um, this. What is this? It's not a cup. It's not a cup, it's because it's got a flat bottom. A cup fits on a saucer and is a bit different in shape. What is this? It's just a three letter word. Well, you know, um, you have to, it, it's all about context, Daniel. You know, um, people will know what kind of rubber you mean. <laughs> it's all about context. You can say things that mean things in different situations. But uh, you have to, if you're good at, if you know English well, then you don't get into problems with it so much. But this is not a cup. It's not a cup. It's a three-letter word, but it's not cup, because a cup is not the same shape as this, is it? This is called a mug, a mug. So uh, there's an animal on the mug. What is the animal on the mug? Andrew, are you there? Hello, yeah, I'm here. Hi. 
Yeah, <laughs> there are two hairs on your mark. Yeah? It's pictured. I mean. Oh well, that's an interesting question because uh, <laughs> no, no, I was thinking of I was thinking of rabbit, but yes, hair. What is the difference between a hare and a rabbit? You know, actual hares live in the forest, but rabbits it's a, it's a domestic animal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. maybe something like that. I, I'm not uh, sure exactly if it's that. That's absolutely right, but it's uh, along uh, those. It's along those lines. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you can have a wild rabbit. Yeah, and uh, a hare is bigger than a bunny. That's definitely true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a hare is a big thing. But I, I, really, to be honest with you, I don't know exactly the difference, but that's along about right, yes. <laughs> so, Leon, I've got a question. Have you ever seen uh, a hare in the forest? Well, yeah, lots of times. They're all over the yeah. place. You know, mm -hmm. a few years ago, when I was young, I lived in Germany, and um, at the time when I was there, there, were, there was a big disease which um, affected mm -hmm. all the rabbits. And later I discovered that we actually deliberately gave the rabbits this disease. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, yeah. because we wanted to kill all the rabbits. And that really shocked me even more. Um, do you know this problem, that this disease that rabbits have? Not actually. I'm not. Well, I'm it's not. called myxomatosis. And I was very sad because I saw these rabbits. They couldn't see. They were walking in front of us and dropping dead everywhere. And um, yeah, it was very sad to see. So, I, but now I, I've seen lots of healthy rabbits everywhere. But there are lots of rabbits everywhere, and I think I can understand why people don't like them. Farmers don't like rabbits. Do Do you know why people don't like rabbits? Not actually not. As for me, I like bunnies. For some time, I even had two <laughs> bunnies. Yeah. Yeah, I know that you can go into a club in London, and there are quite a few bunnies, and they're very nice. But uh, I, I think um, bunnies are very nice pets, but um, I've never had one. Have you ever had a pet rabbit? Yeah, I've had, I've had a de decorative rabbit. It, uh, it's, a small, uh, it, it's a small size. It, 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 it's like uh, a kitten, you know? It's like a kitten. What color is it? Is it white or just a brownie wild kind of color? It was. It, it has. It has um, orange, orange fur. Orange. Yes. That's, a bit, that's a color we don't usually use with um hair and and animal colors. I don't know why, but we usually say something like ginger or brownie colored or something yeah, like ginger. that. So ginger. yeah, when you say the color orange, I think about something like an orange or painted, and it think <laughs> it's not quite the color for a furry animal but um, okay. yeah that's probably more ginger colored probably like a cat mm -hmm. or tabby colored yeah mm -hmm. but uh, yeah rabbits well we there, there are lots of rabbits around where I live here even though um, there are England is quite crowded it's a very crowded country and lots of people live there there's still lots of places for rabbits and uh, the forests. We don't have any forests and um, really wild forests where I live. Do you have any wild forest? Yes, of course. Actually, I'm from Russia and there are, Russia uh, has one of the biggest territories of the countries, yeah? Of yes. The, all, all of the countries and there are lots of forests. Well, so yes, we have, example, we have some forests, far but not, nothing really like that. Uh, I have to travel a long distance, maybe to Scotland, uh, to find a real forest. We do have a kind of forest, which Henry VIII uh, used to hunt, the, the New Forest. It's quite big, it's quite a few miles thick, but nothing that's 50, 60 miles until you get to Scotland. And uh, so where I live, we can speak about woods really just some woods and even we're even losing mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. but uh, for example as for my area I live in the far east of Russia uh, there are there are variety of animals such as tigers wolves foxes uh, ah do you have tigers yes we have got tigers and no, are they I, the kind of uh, snow white tigers or are they the uh, stripy tigers 
it, it's kind of uh, what do you mean? Snow I white mean, some t some tigers are are white skinned, aren't they? Like elephants? No, no. I mean, they they they're from the the north, and they they can be they can be camouflaged against the snow. No, uh, a tiger has a strand, a black strand, yeah, like, like the black. usual tiger. Yes. Ah, I didn't know that you had tigers in your country. Yes, on Paris, near to China. So, do you live near Bratsk or somewhere like that? No, I live in Khabarovsk. Ah, I didn't know you had tigers. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, because I had some in... students from over there, but uh, they've never told me about tigers. Hmm. Yeah, I, I am the first one. <laughs> yeah. You know, we do have wild cats and uh, even eagles in Britain, but uh, not in my area. But I can tell you something about my area. I live in Canterbury area, which is, do you know where that is? No, actually, no, well, actually. Do you know where London is? If you see the map of England, I'll see if I can s show you the map. Um, let me find um, a map of the UK and s show you where Canterbury is. Whoops, that's not good. I don't want that. Um, I wish it wouldn't do that. That's not nice, is it? So um, I'm looking for UK. Just an image, maybe like that. Um, I want to find an, an image which has uh, the towns and cities. Maybe that one's good. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Can you see those towns and cities? No, uh, it's not shared, is it? No, just a moment. No, you haven't shared this. No. Can you see that map? Yes, I can see it. And uh, can you see London? Yes. If you go southeast of London, you're mm. heading towards France. More, mm. more east actually. You go mm. east, and and there's a, a it's a, almost a peninsula, but we don't call it a peninsula. It's just sticking out a bit towards the east, and it's mm -hmm. the closest part to France. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a poisonous snake, mm -hmm. but nowhere oh. else. Uh, in the country has poisonous snakes. Do you have any poisonous snakes? I'm not sure. Maybe maybe uh, there are poisonous snakes in Russia, but not in Khabarovsk. I'm not sure, to be honest. Anyway, let's get back to the, sp the activity and see if we can do some, if you don't mind. So, do you understand my three levels? Three levels of taboo. No, no, Leon. Uh, I, <clears throat> I've been watching your classes for a long time, but this is the first time I, I've participated uh, in taboo classes. You know. I'll and tell you how the t how the rules go. Then, basically, you choose a word, mm -hmm. or even two or three words. So, level one is something visible. For example a mug and I give clues I don't tell you what it is you know this don't you we don't tell you what it is we just mm -hmm. describe it so I say uh, it's something that I can drink out of it's mm -hmm. something that doesn't sit on a, a saucer because they say cup and I say no no it's not a cup because it doesn't sit on a saucer and it's a different shape it's a mug, yes. So that's level one. And I can describe any visible noun, like a pen, a uh, mobile phone, um, dice. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. and that's level one. Level two is you go up to words which are not visible nouns. For example, an adjective, an adverb. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try an adverb. Um, this is a what everybody in the text as well. Um, I'm not allowed to spell. I cannot spell. So uh, it's against the rules to spell, and it's against the rules to say any of the words 
but I only have one word. I can, though, I can tell you how many syllables. Do you know uh, what a syllable is? Yes, I know. It's got three syllables. Ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba -bum. Three syllables. And yes. it's an adverb used to s describe somebody who has a strong feeling that they don't want to do it. So it's used before doing something. Totally. So, Absolutely. No, it's not totally, yeah? No, because it means they don't want to. Or they feel like a horse is coming to jump, okay? And then mm -hmm. if he really wants to go for it, he just jumps, doesn't he? But you see sometimes when you're watching the horses, they suddenly go like this. And you can say, the horse was ba -ba to jump. He actually refused in the end. You could see all the way he was not happy about it. He was bum, bum, bum. What's that word? It's, it means that he doesn't want to do it. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so now I have to, I've chosen a difficult one here. Now I've got to figure out how to, how to communicate the idea to you. So I know there's three syllables. Um, I can cheat. There's one cheat I am allowed to do. I can describe a word which is inside my word. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to describe an easy word which is inside my word. So it, what do you need to win the lottery? You know, su suppose um, you win the lottery. What can you say about that person who's won the lottery? First of all, I have to be a lucky person. Yep. To win the lottery. Now, what's the noun of that? Luck. 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 So that word, luck, or the sound, luck is in my word. I'm okay, allowed to do that. Likely. Not, not likely. Luck. No, not likely, but luck. This, this L U C K. Mm -hmm. Well, not the spelling, but the sound, luck. Okay. The sound, luck, is part of the word. So, I need, actually it's the second syllable, bum, luck, bum, bum, luck, bum. So there's three syllables and you've got the middle one. Um, the first one is a little prefix, very short prefix, which means, um, usually it means to do something again. Do you know a prefix in English that means to do something yes. again? Yes, yes, I know. What I know it? what I know what prefix is. <laughs> yeah, but do you know this one? So, if, so if you um, think of something again, you do this member. You. What's the short prefix which means again? If you train again, you bump train. What is the prefix? Hello, Alpha. I've muted here. Or yeah. Because yeah. There is a lot of background noise. Yeah, if you've got background noise, uh, the best thing to do, Alpha, is just you know click on the mic when you speak and then click back again. So, come on, guys, get this word, please, in the text. Has anyone got it? No. Three words, a three-syllable word, it means you don't want to do it. You you're bound to, you know, you're trying everything to not do it. You really don't want to do it. It's the, the middle syllable is luck. And the first syllable is a little sound like a prefix, like a prefix, but not pre, but a prefix which means again. For example, if you train um, for something which you used to do and you were trained in it in the past, but you needed to. Uh, and also, okay. what do you do it's for you, what, what do you do for your exams? Re. Yeah, it's prefix. It's prefix re. Yeah. yeah for example. So re luck. Re luck. <laughs> re luck. I was very re luck bump to do it. You've got it, haven't you? Type yeah. it in the beginning of your dictionary, and you'll get the word.
No. My name's Leon, not Lion. But uh, it's pronounced like Leon. Yeah. They're not pronounced the same actually because Lion is like a bike. I. Yeah, we've got Reluck. We just need to finish this word, level two. Come on. I'm getting frustrated here. Reluck, meaning it's a, a word meaning it, I just don't want to do it. I've got it. Good. Thank you, Conrad. I was thinking nobody would going to. I was thinking nobody was going to get that, but reluctant. Let's see the word. Yeah, reluctant. I can see the word, but I haven't seen this word before, to be honest. Oh, uh, I shouldn't have chosen that one then. Mm -hmm. Reluctant. I was reluctant to continue. I was reluctant to pay my bills because I thought that they were extortionate, far too high. Right, level three, I'm going to go to my list to see what I've got over here. So there's my map and um, I've I've got hundreds of them here, loads of them, so I won't even let you see. Just go, ah, there's an interesting one. I like that one. Yeah. Okay, two words. Two words it is. And um, it means that you've been trying to solve something for a long time. Either the country, the government, or you have been trying to do something, but you just can't achieve it by normal methods so you resort to bump bump two words the first word is an adjective and it describes this situation when you really um, you really have to do it but you don't know how and you will do anything what word what adjective describes that person um, often it's used if they really uh, need something, really have to have it, but they can't get it, but they, they have to have it. They are what? Desperate. Yes. Thank you. So, mm -hmm. and the second word is uh, some kind of thing you do. Um, so you take these it's steps, like uh, doing things, take steps, but uh, it's another word. And it's often something you do with a, a, a ruler. And you might use units like meters. Mm -hmm. We must uh, take desperate what? Um, what do you do if you get a ruler and you put it along something to see how big it is? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. there's, two, there's two people standing against the wall. You want to know which one's tallest. So what do you do? You find out how high they are or how tall they are. What do you mm -hmm. do? Every time you find out how long something is, um, what are you doing with a ruler? I choose him or I point at him. No. Yeah, but I mean, you get the ruler. Uh, hold on, let me stop screen sharing. I don't have a ruler at hand. I should have one. This, this is a children's pencil box. But you know, there's a ruler. And I I want to find, uh, for example, the teacher says, how, how long uh, is that? And I put my ruler along there, and then I, I read off and say... Okay, I measure it, yeah? Yeah. So I need a form of that word, desperate, like yes. steps or actions. We take, boom, and it's a form of measure. Measure is a, is a verb. I need a noun form. They took desperate measures, measures. Desperate measures. Okay, so I'm using too tricky vocabulary. So it's your turn, Andrew. Go through level one, level two, level three, and I will guess, and the others in the chat room will guess as well. 
Okay. Um, I've got it. Uh, I've got it in my hand. No. Uh, Do you know before before you start? I must say that uh, the problem with that uh, reluctant word is that my tea's cold. It took so long. So have you got your word now? Okay. Uh, the, the little thing on my desk and uh, it has a black ink. What is it? Well, first of all, maybe black ink without her black ink because I can't count ink. Um, it's a pen. Yes, it's a pen. You could have said no. It wasn't. It's not a pen, but it's a kind of uh, writing implement. It's a biro or something. But I guessed right. Okay, so now try level two, please. It, uh, it may be consists of one word, yeah, but something absolutely. Well, level two can be one word, but it doesn't have to be a visible noun. It could be okay. any word. Okay. Uh, by this factor, can I say by this feature, um, for example, some models can be. Some models or model mothers. Models. M o t h e r or mo I can't quite catch the difference between model, 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 and model. M -O yes, yes. Top model. Can I say like this? Yes. So yes. like a fashion model or something like that. Yes. Yes. Like a fashion model. And uh, by what characteristics? Uh, you mean a characteristic of their appearance? Yes, yes. Characteristics of appearance. You're absolutely right. But by, by what characteristics uh, they choose the best one? Well, a few years ago, they used to choose a model that looked uh, really thin and about to die and anorexic and looking but terrible. In, in general. But uh, well, I think to generally we're back on track now. I think. Um, Tall and beautiful. Yeah, beauty. Mm -hmm. Beauty, beauty. Beauty, yeah, it's nice. Nice. Ah, well, if I get the wrong form of a word, you have to say. Um, it's a, it's not, not an adjective. It's yeah, noun, you can yeah. just say I want a noun of that. You say yes, but a noun. Okay, mm -hmm. so now try level three. So level three. Um, do you have any ideas? <laughs> Actually, <I'm> not. <laughs> well, level three. Uh, you know, I, I got my ideas and I've been recording them for a long time now, uh, but um, I'm going to put them into my taboo page, but at the moment they're difficult to share. I can show you how I shared them because I, I, went, um, I went to my Russian site here and um, you can try it if you like. But, um, no, you can't actually. <laughs> you can't try it. It takes too long to explain because um, you have to be... Uh, it connected. So just choose one or two words which go together uh, to make a little phrase like, let me see some examples here. So can you see, I've got some examples on the screen there. Yeah, uh, he, and a uh, minded professor. Yeah, you can, there's lots of them there. You can choose one, but you don't want to tell me. I'll just, mm -hmm. I'll just keep scrolling down like this. Mm -hmm. and you can see lots of them, you see, there's thousands of them, and they do collocate or make expressions. So okay. look, okay. astronomically I, I, high, absolutely I, fabulous, all the okay. time. Okay, I Choose got one it. like that. Mm -hmm. Any one like that, okay. And yeah, then I've already chosen. Chosen, yeah. Chosen. Let's hear it. Okay. For example, mm, actually it's an it's a proverb, yeah, and uh, we we use a proverb when, for example, some work is pretty easy. So, how many le how many words are there? Uh, two words. Um, easy peasy. No. Easy peasy pudding and pie. I don't know. Uh, so not easy peasy. So when something's very easy, we use these two. Two words. Yeah, we use these two words. It's 
kinds of idiom? Well, it's not as easy as pi because that's four words. Yes. So I'm looking for another. Help me, everybody, in the verbling chat. Two words only. I need to remember. Two words which mean easy. Yeah. We, um, we say it's easy like. Yes? It's easy. I've never heard of one that's as easy like. Maybe, uh, easy as. Are you sure it's not easy as? Yeah. As easy as. It's easy as. And two words. Yeah. Two words. Well, I, I know I, I, one word can, and three words, but not two words. I know as easy as pi, as easy as A B C, as easy as. Uh, yeah. I can I can give you a hint, uh, hint or a tip. Yeah, you can, you're allowed to do that. You have to do that if you can. So, pardon. Yes, give me more help. Okay, so the first word it's kind of food. Kind of fruit. Yeah. So as easy as apple pie. <laughs> I don't know that one. Um, yeah. As easy as apple pie. Oh. That's interesting because I know people generally say as easy as pie. Mm. As easy as apple pie. I, I've, I've never heard that one actually. But I, can, I think if somebody said that then I would just laugh and think, oh, why has it got apple in it? That's funny, <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay. See, apple pie, as easy as pie, I've heard a few times, but I haven't heard um, as easy as apple pie. There's a few others as well, I've quite a few other expressions about easy and simple. By the way, Andrew, you know, everybody, almost everybody from Russia mispronounces to a slight degree the word word. Yeah, I know. Word. It sounds er, yeah? Word. They, they often say, say instead word. of saying erd like a bird, all of the bird sounds actually are quite tricky yeah. for lot, lots of people who speak Russian. I don't know why. But I think um, a lot of people in Russia say the air sound for, the, for these too much or, or um, like or, like ward or word or so, but word. Word. Yeah. Bird. Word. Yeah, Word. are you interested in um, pronunciation? Yes, sure. Because pronunciation is my uh, is my weak side of language. Well, you seem to be very knowledgeable of English, but I would say that maybe you're right. Maybe you need to boost your pronunciation a little bit to mm -hmm. catch up with the rest of your English. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. maybe. Welcome, everybody. Uh, so now we've got a few people here. Sabri, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, I think. <laughs> Just check. <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. So, yeah, how are you? Thanks, and you. And where are you from? I'm from Turkey in Levy, Ankara. Ah, I've never been to Turkey, but Can I really want to go. Yeah, I'd love to go to Turkey because uh, in some ways it's it's similar to Britain because you have a large coast. Co the coastline of Britain is 14,000 miles long. Maybe Turkey's longer. <laughs> Maybe. But uh, Scottish coastline is very... Uh, uh, teacher, uh, uh, I, I know for a little English. Uh, maybe... Uh, <laughs> I am a uh, hard uh, lesson. Okay, okay. I I'll, I can uh, get to know you uh, soon. So, but, uh, I, I, but I try, uh, try. maybe. <laughs> I know. Well, can you try the next uh, round of the game? Could you try to do taboo level one? Mm -hmm. So, will you describe a word for us? Find a word. Maybe something now in your room. Look around and find something. But, you know, it doesn't have to be in your room. It can be anywhere. It can be just um, pick something up. Like, um, I, I did this one yesterday, Bottle Top. Okay. I like the name of this one, Bishop's Finger. Okay. And this is a Bottle Top. And then, um, you know, Book. Or even, 
Um, yes. You know, just something simple, table, chair, just try that. Will you try the next one? Okay. Right, so start describing to us and we will guess. So you speak about your word and we will guess, but don't tell us what it is. Sub Sabri, just choose choose one word, any word in your something in your room, something you can see, mm -hmm. and describe it without telling us what it is. Okay. Uh, I'll ask a question what? about it. Is it is it uh, in your room now? It is. Uh -huh. It's in it's in your room now. Okay. Um, how many are there in your room? Uh, maybe four months uh, learning English, uh, and uh, uh, always uh, I work. Uh, live, uh, I, I work, learn English uh, for uh, uh, for, for the, four months. Uh, four months, yes. Four okay. Months. Well, Sabri, um, watch this game and try to guess the words, and then uh, you can play later when you see how they play. So, Alice, are you here? Yes, hello. Hi there, Alice. I, Hi. I, could, could you uh, try to do the next one for us? Okay, so um, it's, uh, it's an object. Uh, can you hear me, Leon? I can hear you, yes. I'm just wondering if Sabri is listening. Sabri, can you hear Alice? Sabri, can you hear Alice now? Can you, you hear me well, or do I have to turn up the volume? No, you're clear as a bell. You're fine. No problem okay. at all. So, uh, okay. So it's an object. It's uh, not big. It looks like a small stick. It is simil simil similar to a pen, but it's not a pen. Okay. Uh, can you please? Can you tell? Can you tell me? What what's it no? What Sorry? is uh, no? <laughs> what is it made of? What is it made? Uh, of? It is made of, of uh, wooden, yeah. Wood and uh, inside yeah. there is. Um, yeah, it's a pencil. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's great. You know, uh, actually, that was an interesting question, <laughs> Andrew. What what is it made of? Because if something is made of metal, then it's metal. You could mm -hmm. say it is a metal spoon or something. If something is made of wood, we don't say it is a wood spoon. What do we say? It's a spoon made of a wooden. Well, of wooden. we can say wooden. Yes, it's a wooden spoon. A wooden spoon. So, Alpha Pilot, are you ready with another one? Alpha, you're muted at the moment, but you can unmute to do yours. Alpha, I don't see you. No? Okay. Andrew, it's your turn then. Sabri, try to get Andrew's next one. So... Andrew, you're next. My turn? Is it yeah, my turn, your yeah? turn next. So, are you ready with another? Okay, yeah. That's a thing you can, for example, you can pay your bills with this thing, even without uh, go out of your home. It's without without going, going out. Yes. Go out home? without going out of home. And Sabri, did you hear about paying bills? Paying bills, did you hear? He said 
we use it to pay bills without going out. So can you ask Andrew a question to find out what it is? Uh, find out the... The object, what is it? Uh, we can use it to pay our bills without going out. So ask Andrew. Alice is gone. Maybe she wanted to join a more advanced class, maybe. So what question could we ask um, Andrew? Andrew... Well, we, we can always ask, is it Without big? Without going out, maybe... Uh, uh -huh. we... It's an object, it's a thing. Yes, yes. Uh... So, we can ask about uh, size. We can ask about um, how many, does he have one? We can ask any, any question. Um, what shall we ask? Uh, maybe uh, credit card uh, selling. Uh... Uh, yeah, you can just ask him, is it a credit card? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's a credit it card. It is a credit card. Is that yeah. one word? Is credit card one word? Maybe no, it's two it's words. Words. Yeah. two words. Yeah. Okay, Sabri, can you try to do the next? Could you try to describe an object for us to guess? Maybe... Starlink... Uh, our bullets out, going out. Uh, teacher, I'm sorry, I don't know. Well, look, you've got, I, I can see one behind you, but I'll do one. <laughs> I see one behind you. Sometimes um, it's a um, painting, sometimes it's you done with a camera, and we I... put it on the wall. What is it? What do we put on the wall to look at? And it can be made with a camera, or it could be made with a pencil and paper, or paint. What is my word? It's something that represents something, picture. and we look at it. Yeah, yeah, picture. So I, I looked behind you, I saw a picture. So just look in the room and find one thing that's not difficult, and uh, try to tell us what it is for, um, where it is. Mm -hmm. um, uh, painter? Well, I'm, now I, I want you to... If picture was the answer. Yeah, picture, picture. picture was the answer. You got the answer. So now, so now you uh, choose your word, and you uh, describe now. So something from your room, uh, you describe for us, and we guess. Pictures. And... Welcome back, Alice. I don't know where you went. Sorry. Sorry, I had bad connection. Uh, you, your sound is good. So I'm trying, seeing if Sabri can do one because he guessed two, but he's playing well with guessing, but not playing very well yet with describing. Mm -hmm. Needs may more I, practice. May I make one? Well, let's see. Sabri's trying, but Sabri, oh, okay. let, Sorry. Sabri, let Alice do one more then, okay? And then you, you get one ready and tell me maybe next time. Alice, your turn next. Okay, so this is the third category. The third uh, category. Third level, yeah. So it's going to be difficult. Oh. Uh, no, it's going to be very easy. <laughs> 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 they are just two words, and they describe uh, the end of the relationship. For example. It's and is the last word in a preposition? Break up. Yes, Break exactly. <laughs> oh, one of those two. <laughs> yeah. So um, the second word means um, to go higher. So which one is it? Of those two, which you said? He and said you? up in both of them, didn't he? He said split up and break up. 
Yes, but uh, the second, but the one I am, uh, I am thinking about, uh, the second word means. Um, so it's not up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is. It is up. Yes, it is up. So it's break up. Ah, okay. Sorry. Sabri, <laughs> Sabri did, did you catch that, Sabri? Did you get the answer? She said it, the answer was break up. And she was using break up as a phrasal verb. Sabri, do, do you know uh, phrasal verbs? Phrasal verb. Uh, break up. Break up? Yes, break up. Uh, maybe... I don't think it's a divorce. It's usually used in more casual situations than. Divorce. Oh, I said I don't know. Maybe I explained it in a wrong way. No, I said, Alice, you you were fine. I'm speaking about somebody in the text now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, um, but uh, yes. So, Sabri, are you ready to try one? Uh, maybe break up, uh, finish. We've got finish. we've got the breakup. Yes, breakup means to finish with somebody. So you were with them for a long time, but then you separated. Mm. So you break up. Break up. Break up. Yes. Um, okay, but can you do one now? Uh. Maybe level one. You could choose an animal. Can you choose any animal? And just describe it to us, and we guess which animal. I I guess uh, animal uh, maybe uh, uh, at home. Maybe. Uh. Are you ready with an animal? Do you have an animal in your mind? Can you think think of an animal? Uh, I choose think, choose I an animal. Uh, maybe duck. Y yes, but now choose another. But don't tell me. Uh, don't tell me. Just say yes. I'm ready. I have my animal. Just yes. Uh, I have. Yes, uh, I have. So now, uh, I ask questions, and you answer my questions. Uh, Is your animal at home? No. No. Tom. Is at it home. a is wild it home? animal? Does it live in your house? At, at home. home, yes, uh, yes. Uh, mm. Yes. Uh, it's at um, home now, with you now. In your house. Yes. Right. Uh, because uh, I like uh, animals. The duck, uh, uh, maybe you like dogs. Yes, you like dogs, and maybe a little cat. <laughs> With, I like. But now I, I I'm guessing your animal. Am I? I think mm -hmm. you you have an an animal. It's not a dog, is it? It's not a dog. Your your yes. animal. Uh, it's stuck. Uh, uh, I like uh, at the home. Uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, I I selling a dog uh, and uh, farms. Uh, my farms uh, at at my farms. Farms? Yes. You... At the farms. So? Yes. But I thought you lived in a city. City, uh, I live uh, now in city, but uh, my family uh, uh, at uh, another country, farms. How far away? Uh, my family farm, uh, big, uh, big family. 
uh, uh, and uh, cow and horse and uh, kitchen. Uh, Cows and yes. horses. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, maybe we fit. We fit. What's that? Yes, we we fit. Uh, we fit. Cow. Is it a kind of cow or yes. cow, cow horse? horse uh, kitchen. And what's the kitchen? Yes. What is that? Can you write it? Kitchen. A kitchen. Kitchen. Yes. Kitchen. Yes. Kitchen. The room. A kitchen no. is a room. Yes. Uh, yeah. But a little room. For cooking. Uh, yes. Okay. So. Um, let's an let Andrew do one more now. Uh, Andrew, are you there with another one? Are you still here, Andrew? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, would you like to do another one? Maybe another idiom or another expression would be good. Or perhaps, actually, I'd like you to try, Andrew, try to to do one for Sabri to guess and I will try not to guess it. Sabri, try to guess Andrews. So I won't guess this time. I want you to try to get it. Ask questions and guess it when you're when Andrew is ready. Andrew, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So um, let's go. So Sabri, you try to guess Andrews. Okay, uh Andrew, uh, can you come on a guest? <laughs> okay, that's a thing uh, we use uh, to dry our body after having bath. After having the bath. Mm -hmm. Sabri, can you hear what he said? Mm -hmm. So what is it, Sabri? What is it? Uh, that's a thing we use to dry our body. This is. This is uh, uh, maybe this is a uh, bus. No, uh, bath. B -A -T -H. Well, After you can say bath. bath or bath. You know that this, you can bath. say some words in English can have uh, different regional pronunciations. Uh, at R, like castle, castle, grass, grass, bath, bath. So he's okay to say bath, but um, it's not the bath, Sabri. It's something you use after you take a bath. Say again, Andrew. Okay, that's the thing we use to dry our body after having the bath, okay. or after or after taking uh, the shower. Towel. Uh -huh. Yes, that's a towel. Towel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but Alice, next time, do one for uh, Sabri to try to guess. So let's oh, see if sorry. we. Oh, sorry, I wasn't uh, here. I'm so sorry. Yeah. See, you try one now and see if Sabri can get it because I want him to guess the next one. Um, because we're doing quite oh. easy level one. Okay. okay. Try one then. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> Let's okay. get going then. Let's get going. Okay then. So, um, um, it is a thing, thing, which which you use also now, Sabri, mm -hmm. and you are looking at it Power. right now. Power. Power. Uh, it is a um, uh, mm, device. No, not it's not a device. Uh, it's um, it's used in offices, but also at homes. Mm -hmm. uh, those things are connected uh, uh, with um, uh, you are you use them if you want to uh, be on the internet so um, or if you want to type something some letter and send by email which you use also now Sabri 
Nihan, you've got some uh, echo uh -huh. problem there. Just a moment. So, Sabri, any idea? Okay. Uh, it is a pink. A pink. It looks like a small television. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can watch movies on uh, using this thing, but it's not a television. You can use internet, you can send emails using this thing. Uh, uh, I like uh, and working. Uh, I am going to uh, always uh, a car and internet. Uh, my internet. Uh, Sabri, can you guess her word? Just just try to guess her word, Sabri. She has if a word. And what is the word? If you want to use the internet, you must come to your table, sit down and start to work with that thing. Uh, what is it? Uh, I think this is a uh, computer, laptop. You are looking Maybe. at it right now. You are looking at this think right now at this object yes Nihan <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, uh, can I help you please uh, because no. uh, I don't understand <laughs> <laughs> if I help you it's uh, it could be a, a cheating no Please. I am very honest, Leon, you see. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we've come <laughs> to the end now. So, Sabri, I hope you come tomorrow. Well, uh, next, next time. Next time, maybe. <laughs> okay. And we can try some more. So, let me post the link and you can watch the game and you can see all of the lessons. We've had about 20 lessons. So, uh, it's not a difficult game. It's not difficult at all. So I'm going to just, before I say goodbye to everybody, I want to pro oh post you the page. God. You start early today. <laughs> yeah, because, um, you know, verbling mm -hmm. has, be has been a bit difficult for me to uh, work over the last two or three weeks because I was for a long time regular, three a day, three a day, three a day, and uh, I, I just mm -hmm. couldn't, easily uh, find those three slots on the calendar but um, because there were too many changes we were looking for courses and different ticket systems and everything is changing you know the same for the students there are too many changes and so we've had a difficult mm -hmm. period and I'm just trying to get back my three per day time slots the same as I had before and um, that was the problem I, I couldn't easily do that so I've, I've mm. got only one lesson all day today on verbling and I hope soon yeah. to be back to the normal but I, before I go now I we want to just oh, yes, so we hope to see you soon again <laughs> Well, I hope to be back to regular lessons. I've been trying, but the systems are changing, and it's always changing. So I and just I want guess to... you're annoying. I'm not so annoying, I hope, but I might be annoyed sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh... I just come, and I think this uh, class is started now. Yeah, I thought maybe. Oh, no, it's just so... over. <laughs> well, I I was trying my best to get the regular times but I have no choice because I can only grab mm. little times so in the future I'm looking ahead now to get my regular time 
and that will be better in the future. But now okay. I'm just all over. Sorry. Okay. See you Hello. next time, anyway. Okay. Thank bye you. Bye-bye.